Jelas, jelas, jelas. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh to Madam Nur Hazima. My name is Muhammad Harid bin Ahmad Misra at student ID AC 01082666 and Muhammad Nur Amirul bin Nur Zul Nur Akmal student ID AC 01082688 and today we will going to talk about an overview and discussion on the sustainable agenda and energy transition measure under the economy madani framework for the background the malaysian government recently launched the economy madani initiative which serves as a guiding framework across key economic policies and plans it is built on three focus areas which is good governance economic restructuring and raising living standards under the economic restructuring focus one of the key measures is sustainable agenda and energy transition this measure aims to incentivize businesses and investors to adopt sustainable practices use renewable energy and create green jobs we will look at the key driver tax incentives and implication of these measures on social economic and environmental objectives key drivers first thing first we will start from reducing carbon emission and moving towards renewable energy means that trans transitioning from fossil fuels and to renewable sources like solar wind and hydropower to reduce greenhouse gas emissions and mitigate climate change the second one is promoting sustainability and circular economy practices by businesses it means that incentivizing business to adopt sustainable production through reuse recycling and upcycling instead of the traditional linear take make ways model next is incentivizing investments in green technology and innovation providing tax incentives for companies to invest in their research development and adoption of new environmentally friendly technologies last point for key drivers is creating green jobs and boosting growth of the environmental goods and services industry building up a robust green economy that creates new jobs in renewables waste management environmental consulting and many more and i would like to explain about the tax incentive uh, aimed at promoting sustainable agenda and energy transition and we have five incentives here and the first one is uh, piano status that exemption for renewable energy project they can make full income tax exemption for up to 10 years for qualified renewable energy project to make them more viable and attractive and the second one is investment tax allowance for green technology assets uh, for example, like uh, tax allowance, which act to lower chargeable income for capital expenditures incurred in acquiring green tax assets. Uh, next, uh, double deduction on expenses incurred for green certification or verification, which is uh, allow company to claim 200% tax deduction on cost for getting environmental certification. And the fourth one is import duty and sales tax exemption for renewable energy equipment, uh, which is lowest cost of import clean energy equipment through exemptions. And the last one is special tax deduction on green bond issuance issuan cost, which is issue cost of raising capital via green bonds 
get preferential tax treatment. And we pass to uh, Harit uh, for explain the social and economic implications. Uh, thank you, Amirul. Now I would like to talk about social and economic implication. The first one is supports environmental conservation and climate change mitigation efforts, meaning that transition to renewable energy helps reduce carbon footprint. Promote sustainable and equitable development. Circular economy practices reduce resource depletion and waste. The third one is creation of green jobs, especially in rural areas through new industries like ecotourism and sustainable agriculture. The fourth one is risk of higher costs being passed on to consumers. Renewable energy may lead to higher energy prices initially. Okay, for the conclusion, uh, the sustainable agenda and energy transition measure under economy Madani plays a crucial role in steering Malaysia towards a greener economy. The tax incentive and grant provided will motivate businesses to reduce their carbon footprint, adopt circular economy practices, invest in green R&D and create eco eco-friendly jobs. This support wider national priorities to tackle climate change, achieve sustainable development goals, boost innovation and build a progressive economy that improve living standard, proactive policy making and public private collaboration is vital for the successful implementation of environmental tax reform under the Baradi initiative over the coming years. So that's all for our presentation. Thank you so much.